<laughs> it's the start of another day at the Wind Tunnel Model Shop in Seattle. They are in the midst of another groundbreaking program for the Boeing Company. Every airplane, every product starts here. Pat Beeris oversees the work in the shop here. There is a singular focus. It's about product development and putting the best product out there. This shop is where new airplanes physically enter the world. <laughs> right there. These small scale models will one day become full grown airplanes, but not before the model shop imparts its know-how on the aircraft. So by the time it rolls out the door here, we've cut out a lot of time, we've cut out a lot of energy, saved a whole big ton of money for labor, materials, testing. We're better and faster than we ever were. It's just evolved constantly. Rich Bowman has perspective. 26 years in the shop. It was a job that I always thought was going to be the cool job at Boeing and, and it ended up being kind of the cool job at Boeing. Cool, because they get to physically shape state-of-the-art aerodynamics. But there's more to it. Everybody adds a little bit and it just increases and improves the process and, and that's kind of the cool part about it. Few people can appreciate those improvements better than Beerus. So I'm following the footsteps of my father, who started in 1957. Beerus, who oversees the kind of work his father did 65 years ago, now amazes him with tales from the 21st century model shop. His jaw hit the ground because he said, we never built more than two at a time. So, Dad, I've got eight, sometimes ten models rolling at one time, and it goes on and on and on. The model shop is in a continuous cycle of technological advancement. And we're always changing. We're always developing new, quicker ways of doing things. But none of it can come together without a key ingredient. Feel is one thing that definitely helps. The artisan's touch is just that ingredient. You want to see the, uh, the end view of the section? Take a look at her model wing cross section. And there's probably 60 or 80 tubes. Packed with carefully wired instrumentation tubing. But you'll notice how they're stacked in there so tightly and neatly. This team can fit a mile of tubing, the width of fishing line, in a five-foot model wing. There's a lot of handwork involved, blending finishes and making parts fit where the machine just can't get. The tubing collects high-fidelity data that engineers rely on to validate wind tunnel tests. Giving engineering a chance to actually see their ideas come to life. But when you start putting it all together and looking at it, and you start realizing, wow, this is, this is someday going to fly. And in here, every day flies. I've been here 35 years and a few weeks, and every day is outstanding. When somebody says, why don't you go do something different in your career? I say, I've got the best gig in town. Why would I do that? It's, it's exciting. 